Thank you for calling us in on TV. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I ordered um, the fart machine and I just received it, but it's not working right now. What, what machine was this? It's called the fart machine. Number two. Okay. Like, like passing gas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just... She Okay, I just I thought you said fart, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, it's fart. Fart. Didn't machine. want to alarm you by yeah. being like fart machine. <laughs> yeah, it probably alarmed you. It's not working. Yeah, I mean, I was I just got it. I was all excited to get it because, um, like, I personally can't make my farts out loud. It's really it's like my my wife and I. She she farts all the time. She she can rip some real good ones, but I can't. So it's like I can't get back at her. So this is kind of a, a good thing for me because now I get to make all sorts of noises. Um, <laughs> but it's just not working. Okay. Now, is there uh, batteries? Yeah, there is a 9-volt battery, and maybe I put it in wrong? Maybe. Uh, flip it over and see how okay. what happens. Yeah, let me take it out. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that might be it. Let me, let me, I'm just turning the battery around. Okay, putting it back in. Okay, so now I'm pressing it. I'm pressing the button. I can hear the fart noises, but it's, it's really faint, like very muffled. Okay. Um, like I can barely hear it. Because like how, am, did I hide it too well or something? Well, maybe, maybe so. It Maybe, because on the picture, it looks like... You know, it's it has to be out in the open. It looks like a fan. It's you know what I'm saying? A, it's not supposed to be out in the open. I thought it's, you know, it's coming from the butt, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Well, yeah. It, so, isn't it supposed to be in in the butt? Because I I hit it. Like I actually put it up my rear end. That's what I thought you were supposed to do. Oh. No, sir. That's not what you're supposed to do. Because it's, I mean, you see the picture. Mm -hmm. It's the fart coming from the rear end. And, you know, the instructions say you're supposed to hide it. You know, I just assumed it meant, you know, up my hiney. No. So no, what's the, sir. Not in but your touch. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so what's the purpose of the remote? I thought the remote is because you can't reach it once it's up your butt. It's not supposed to be in your bottom. Um, you, um, that's actually dangerous. Yeah, I was, yeah, because it, it's got sharp edges, you know? It doesn't, yeah, it's not that comfortable. Absolutely. You certainly should not have that in your rear end. Um, you, um. It's okay, as long as it's, like, just louder. Okay, um. It, it's it's not designed for that purpose. It's not so oh. much um, a, as an actual tube machine. It, it that's very dangerous, and you should remove that. I mean, I thought it was designed for people that couldn't make their own fart noises, and so this kind of helps them because I can't make my own fart noises. They're just kind of silent. So I thought this is what it was for. Oh no, no, sir. Um, it, it that. If, if you're having difficulties passing gas in, um, you know, in a loud manner, I would suggest eating highly acidic foods. I wouldn't, and um, I certainly think that it's dangerous to have the item where you have it placed. It's meant for, like, placing it somewhere where it's kind of hidden, but not, not in our bodies. That would make more sense because it would be louder if it wasn't inside my tush. Absolutely. Um, I mean, if I put it, if I like wrap it in some saran wrap or something, it, I, it probably won't hurt as bad. I, I, sir, I wouldn't put it in your bottom at all. It's not designed for that. I mean, it, you're free to do what you'd like, but it, it is a health hazard to have that in your rear end. That is, it's not designed for that manner. Okay. Yeah. I just, I just have to make it safer. And I'm thinking about probably even putting like a rope on the end of it so I can get it out easier. Cause it's really hard to get out once it's in there. 
Yeah, I can imagine so. Um, um, I told my friend about it. He wants to use it too. Oh, so, um, I, I wouldn't recommend sharing it. I, I just, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend any internal use that could be dangerous. I would, I would certainly not recommend ever putting anything like this in, no. in, in your, in those regions. I mean, if you're interested in what you can do to help um, you create that sound, that would be a more of a nutritional factor. You could talk to your doctor and ask mm-hmm. him, you know, what you can do to produce, you know, I'm female, so we try not to. We try to be discreet about our toots. Yeah. Um, but I would certainly, I would certainly not recommend any of any of this. I wouldn't. I would certainly not share it. Um, okay. I guess. I mean, I'll wait until they come out with something better. You know. Um, yeah. And yeah. I guess in the yeah. mean, in the meantime, I can just talk to my doctor and see what kind of foods I could be eating to help increase my flatulence. Well, thank you very much for your help. You've been very helpful. You're very welcome. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Hey, guys. Hola. Ciao. Behave at the wedding breakfast on the lawn. Bloody hell. That's well bad, isn't it? Bloody well bad. Yeah. Yeah, but you can hear me. Oh, God,